all looking pretty good isn't it pretty organized those are the apices which I've just taken apart and the wrapping to um, remind myself of what they are but basically there are three apexes or apices there are four very long purlins and four very short purlin, uh, purlins because there's the extension in the cabin and one of them goes on top of the, uh, the one of those apexes apices goes on there under there is nothing but floorboards three different lengths well floorboards and roof boards and here's how all this is looking it's all looking rather good isn't it things are getting a bit organized I've just done a bit of civilizing as I've been taught to call it so those are all fairly good I had to um, take quite a lot of these down because of those bloody little ones at the end there these little ones here are 520 millimeters long down to there and those little ones forming the uh, connection point there are 500 it's very difficult to tell the difference and when you're poking them into about 30 centimeters of board there it's very difficult to get them confused and that's what happened I got to the stage where I had completely run out of things to put up there which are the 520 ones now I still had too many 520 ones and I was thinking where the hell have they gone and basically some 500s had gone down in there uh, earlier on there and also some 500s had gone up there so I've had a bit of a tidy up and trying to work out exactly what happens up the top there and I've understood it now you actually have to take the purlins temporarily apart and I've counted these God knows how many times to make sure they're all right but they are all all right I have basically the only logs I have left now are two five and a half meter logs um, one of which one of each will sit on the top there and the top there and then I've got some angled five and a half meter ones which will sit on top of those but they've the the but they all get fed into the purlins but then I noticed this I mean this is horrible that gap but will be fixable with some slates from slate from Shane because it's basically lower a bit and the same junctions going on here and the problem isn't so bad with the gap but oh look it actually winds up finishing at a different height why is that and then I looked and I looked and with despair I kept looking and then I got down to here and you can see some tongues not in right on the very bottom row right on the very bottom row all of the rest of them are good but down here those tongues are not in they are in up at that end but they're not in at that end so that's putting all of these on a slope it's probably why the gap isn't so bad up at the top there Arse. it's all going to have to come every single logs gonna to have to come off so that's about 17 there every single log will have to come off it's about 17 there and 17 there and the windows out but I've discovered a trick to the windows you can just unscrew the boards on the on the inside and it doesn't need anywhere near so much bashing so and I'll get that straightened out so basically you've got to rebuild the extension 